Alright, so I decided to re-record this video um, because last time I mentioned where the... I forgot to mention where the ROMs are supposed to go in your uh, search for how to add ROMs to your system. Because um, the ones as advertised on eBay will come without ROMs. However, it does come with the media for the setup. So here, here is a couple of clues to let you know how set up it is and just to show you also uh, and prove out how ready they are to go. Okay, so I went to Drive D and I searched for Ace of Aces um, in all the folders. Some of these are going to be uh, the, the ROMs on my system might not be on yours, but you can see here. Uh, one of them is in a ROMs folder, but the rest of these are going to be in a media folder where you can see uh, the uh, the cartridge or the box art. So if those things are in place, Hyperspin itself is pretty much ready to go. Um, the two things that you need to check is the arcade folder that particular emulator, Sega Master System, ROMs, and you see it's here. So the ROM is in the right place, and all of the media is in the right place. So there's only one other place to check to make sure that everything is in o order, and that's in the, uh, the databases folder. Look for your uh, Sega Master System. And I always open this with Notepad, or WordPad rather. Makes it easier. Uh, oops, I forgot to. Grab the, uh, the name. There we go. Okay, so now that you see it's in here, that means uh, if it's in this XML, it's going to be in the wheel in Hyperspin. We checked over here that the ROM was in the right place. All the media is there. So as long as all of those conditions are true, it will launch in Hyperspin. Okay? Alright, I'll show you a little bit more in my next video. Alright, so back to where we were just a second ago. I have the XML file opened for the Sega Master System and what I did was uh, I copied this information right here and then just pasted it and then I changed a couple of things. Um, I changed the game name which is the name of the uh, ROM and everything else, the media and everything and the description is what's going to show up in Hyperspin so that you know that it's a different uh, copy of Ace of Aces. Now if you were actually adding a different game this CRC would have to be calculated for you and uh, you know if uh, it was by Flying Edge or whatever you know you would change these other details. But Once you change those other details you would go back to Arcade Media, Master System. Now, in this case, it was in the Images, Artwork 2. I made a copy and then renamed it. And then uh, same thing in Artwork 4. There. The Wheel. And Video. So those are the important places to... Uh, make sure that you have some media and have it named correctly. You want all those names to match what's here and that way it should launch just fine through Hyperspin. Oh and of course the game um, should be right there. The ROMs folder. And I change the name to added. So from there we could launch Hyperspin for a second. I've 
got the sound off for hyperspin just because um, it's such a big difference with with the microphone. Okay, and then we'll use our selection tool to get us to the A's. Now this was the original, and see where it says Ace of Aces Euro Europe? That was our original, and now this is our copy, the one that we just put in there. So that basically shows how relatively simple it is to add a game and uh, and for it to look good. Okay, all right. Thanks for watching.